Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics, only this is just going to be a general video for subscribers to discuss a few things. Uh, obviously, my recent COVID illness, but the fact that I shall be leaving the house uh, this month and next month. Don't worry, I shall be infection free by then. But it's to discuss the rejoin march and also the events that are going to be taking place in Liverpool next month around in and around the Labour conference. So first of all, on the COVID front, so yes, uh, I did have some comments, I had a lot of very nice comments, thank you very much, uh, but I did have some comments as well from some people, didn't quite know what had happened to the schedule. Um, just be aware, if, if, any, if, if video doesn't appear when it should appear, I will, unless I've died, I haven't died, I will have actually put something in the community tab about it. Uh, occasionally a video doesn't go out because just as it's about to, some something changes and then something in the video is no longer relevant or even necessarily accurate. So I, so I have on a very rare occasions had to pull a video at the last minute. But what happened to me last week is last Thursday I had a sore throat. It was a normal sore throat. I was taking the old hot drinks and lozenges. That was fine. Then on Friday... It got worse, but I was tested negative for COVID. So I just thought, this is a bit bad. Uh, but on, you know, so on Friday, my recordings were just the audio ones that I'm doing now. And then Saturday was absolutely horrendous, I have to say. The worst sore throat I've ever had. Um, and I tested positive for COVID on that day as well. And I have to say to anyone who, who has this Omicron thing, I mean, you, and presumably you will know, what I found is the most distressing part of it. Nothing took the edge off it. Like normally you get a sore throat, hot drink. Sorts. I mean, I, I, I was a teacher. I used to get a sore throat at least once a year. The teenagers go out. They all come from the, the different parts of the region. They all congregate in the college and they mix their nasty little germs all together in a concoction and then present it to me. So I get a sore throat usually every October and or used to. Hot, hot honey and lemon lockets, you know, your throat lozenges. Used to sort it, that would be fine. I'd carry on, it was fine. This wasn't even taking the edge off it. Ibuprofen wasn't taking the edge off it. Uh, the, even the gargling of the salt. It was it was hurting to swallow. And of course, you have to keep your fluids up, so you have to swallow a lot. And I wasn't getting any sleep at all. I got zero sleep on Friday night. I got zero sleep on Saturday night. So I was there sort of almost thinking I'm going to start hallucinating at some point soon. And uh, can I trust reality? And at the same time, knowing that I wasn't going to get any respite from sleep. But it's fine now. My throat isn't sore. And um, I'm still not going anywhere until I've tested negative for, for several days. But, I, you know, I've, I've still got a cold. I've still got a cough. That is why I'm still doing these audio only. Um... There's lots of coughing in the videos, which I'm editing out. It's easy to edit out when it's audio only. When it's video only, I'd be cutting all over the place. So I'm still going to do that, and I may do that. For, it depends. I don't know when. The, uh, if, if there's a couple of coughs in, in like a 15-minute video or something, okay, I'll cut those out. But if it's every few minutes, and at the moment it is every few minutes, then you know, we'll keep it as it is. But it no longer hurts. It's fine. I don't care about the cough at this moment. Usually I find them irritating. Don't care because that sore throat was horrible and I'm not going to complain about any other symptoms. So then on to the next one. So at some point I will be better. Uh, I feel absolutely fine now, by the way. I actually feel fine. I don't feel ill. So as far as I'm concerned, I have a cough and a little bit of congestion. That's it. And um, we've got the rejoin march coming up. A week on Saturday, in fact, the 23rd. So I'll be going along to that. Uh, hopefully we'll see some of you there. Uh, I'm not sure what the weather's supposed to be like, but I don't actually mind a little bit of rain. So we'll be fine with that there. Um, and then after that, the next event is going to be early October. So I'm going to sort of advertise here, and I'll post a link in the description below, as well as to the Rejoin March website to an event that the Labour Social are putting on with Graham Hughes. Um, 
it's we're going to be doing something in the Labour conference, but there's also going to be an external fringe event as well, which you don't have to be a Labour member for. You don't have to have had a ticket to the conference at uh, the Camp and Furnace in Liverpool. And that is going to be on Monday, the 9th of October. Uh, there's going to be uh, a panel with myself, Graham, Femi, Supertansky. And we're going to be discussing the use of social media, really, in politics with, um, with, with an angle on how Labour could use it better. And if you happen to be in Liverpool at the time and you wanted to come along, um, then there are tickets available. They are cheaper on the link that's down below than they will be on the day. Uh, there are limited numbers of tickets as well, of course. Um, but you can put that one down. And then the following day on the Tuesday in the afternoon, we will be in the conference centre itself running a similar fringe event, but specifically for the Labour delegates at the conference, again on the use of social media in politics. So that hopefully brings you up with where, where I've been for the last few weeks and why the audio will... The audio only videos will still continue until I can reliably get through a video without much in the way of coughing. As you will see when I'm doing my streams, um, it's getting better. It's getting better, but it's still not quite there. Hopefully in another couple of days, but we will see. Um, but yeah, uh, check those events out. Hope to see some of you in London on Saturday, the 23rd of September. And I may see some of you in Liverpool on Monday the 9th of October or even Tuesday the 10th of October as well. Uh, but thanks for listening and until next time, I'll see you later.